Hello and welcome to the United Stand. Manchester United have lost 2-0 to PSG. Lots and lots of things to discuss. And I just want to say from the very off that, look, the bottom line is that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer got some things wrong for Manchester United tonight. But I would hope and pray and do not expect to see United fans saying, Ole out, let's get Poch. I don't think... I just don't think that's anywhere near the right thing to be saying. The point is that United are... There's loads to discuss, but the, the point is, the main thing is that that squad is shit. It, it is. It is not good enough. And there were people saying, because we had 10 games un, 11, 11 games unbeaten, 10 wins, we can win the league, we can win the Champions League, we can win the FA Cup. We can't. We can't win the major trophies, which are the league and the Champions League, without major investment. PSG came to Old Trafford tonight and they did two things. The first thing they did is they played two fullbacks down the right-hand side to kill our, our left-hand side. They killed Martial and Pogba and Luke Shaw in the first half. They forced us down the right-hand side and uh, Lingard wants to play in the middle and Ashley Young's a crap right-back. So, and, and they had loads of chances down that right-hand side and we put one decent cross in. That nullified us. Second half, we unfortunately lost Lingard and Martial we inexplicably brought Mata and Sanchez on and we put Sanchez on the left, sorry. Sanchez had to come on. I thought he was going to play on the right. We put him on the left and we brought Mata on. I'll come back to that in a minute. And PSG came out in the second half and went, hold on a minute. There's no Lingard. There's no Martial. There's no pace. We don't need to play as deep as we did. We need to go forward 20 yards, which meant Herrera, Matic and Pogba got pressed and lost the ball a lot. They double teamed our fullbacks because Mata and San or Sanchez comes inside and Mata's got no pace. And they could have won the second half 3-0. They annihilated us in the second half because we had no pace on the attack and they pressed us higher up the pitch. But the bottom line still remains. I think we should have spent money in January. I think I think Solskjaer's been let down. I'm very concerned that they're going to give him the job because they just want to save money at the club. And I think this goes back to the problem that we've all spoken about before. This is not about the manager. This is about the board. I think we... I knew this. And people were saying, we're winning games. We're winning games in January. I said... One or two injuries to big players and we're screwed because the squad beyond the first team isn't good enough. It's just not good enough. And that was proven again today. Alexis Sanchez is the best paid player in the league. We may as well send him round to be the best paid dog walker in the league because he's a waste of time. He is absolutely shit. He's been here for over a year now and he is terrible. He is absolutely terrible. And the one thing that excited me today is that we might see him on the right wing. He comes out on the left wing. You know, it must be in his contract. And I saw him before the second goal. Before the second goal, he's playing centrally when he's meant to be on the left, pointing to Pogba to go out on the left wing. Pogba goes to the left wing. Sanchez loses the ball. PSG go through our middle because we haven't got Pogba in there. And then it's 2-0. And, and, and uh, just a dreadful player. A dreadful player. And this is where Solskjaer is going to struggle now because I think Lingard's going to miss the Liverpool game. I'll be amazed if he doesn't because he's got Lingard never goes off unless he's injured. Martial's had to come off with a groin problem. He could be out for two weeks. So we're going to play Liverpool with Mata and Sanchez. Oh, great. Great. And we're back where we were in December now because, and that's not Oli's fault. The way Oli plays, the way he wants to play is fantastic. But beyond his best 11, he's going to get let down. Deadwood FC, because they're not good enough. They're not good. He can't work miracles with players who aren't good enough. And he needed investment in January. He didn't get it. And now we are down to the players that aren't good enough. Unless he's going to play Greenwood or he's going to play Chong, which I don't think he will, because maybe it's not fair. Mata's legs are gone. I love one Mata. Terrible half. Not good enough. Doesn't give... Why do we play Mata as a right winger anyway? Because he, he can't track back because he's got no legs. He can't force the fullback back because he's got no legs. When he gets the ball, what does he do with it? I love one matter, but it's sad. Why are we even thinking about giving him a new contract? He's finished at this level. That's the cold, harsh facts. And we're begging him to sign a new contract. Do you know why we're begging Matter to sign a new contract? Because if we let him go, we've got to spend £50 million on a replacement. This is all about money. Phil Jones contract, Ashley Young contract, Chris Smalling contract, McTominay contract, Juan Matter contract. You can like those players, you can dislike those players. But the reality is, it's about, at the board level, saving money. They don't want to spend money, so they'd rather keep players who may not be good enough because it's cheaper to bulk the squad up with those players than it is to replace them. I don't blame Solskjaer tonight. 
I'm a bit, well, I do actually, a little bit. I, I think tactically in the second half, he, he looked clueless. But actually, when you scratch the surface, what was he supposed to do? You know, it was relentless. But that team was, there was nothing on the bench to change that. I mean, he took Rashford off for Lukaku. I would have took Sanchez off for Lukaku. Why take Rashford off? Maybe he was tired. But I don't, it's a massive reality bite for his United fans. I've got to say that. It is. We're, I'm worried about top four now. That's not being melodramatic. I think if Martial and Lingard are injured, we're in trouble. And we still are in the position where if Pogba, Herrera or Matic gets injured, we're in trouble. The midfield, beyond the midfield three, there's no backup. The front three, beyond Rashford and Lingard and Martial, there's no backup. Which is ridiculous to say that about a £90 million striker and the best paid player in the league. But they're no backup. They're not good enough. So, it's a devastatingly bad night for us. I mean, losing to PSG, that can happen. To get beat in the manner we did in the second half was embarrassing. To get Pogba sent off was just a kick in the nuts. And then to lose two key players on potentially long-term injuries is just disastrous. Um, the Champions League was always a nice bonus. It was a nice test. I thought for the first 45 minutes, I will not have a bad word said about United in the first 45 minutes. I thought the midfield, I thought Matic and Herrera were fantastic. I thought they marked Pogba out the game. That's going to happen at the highest level. I think they, they nullified our left-hand side. That's going to happen at the highest level. You've got to, you've got to counteract on the right-hand side. Maybe switch Martial with uh, Lingard. We didn't do that. Maybe switch Pogba with Herrera. We did it once and it worked. Maybe we've got to be a little more, bit more tactically savvy. I thought the back four played quite well. And I thought Rashford was out of the game because he wasn't getting the ball. And I thought, actually, we had good opportunities in the first half. It just broke down in the third part of the phase. It, that was wasteful from us. Nil-nil at half time. PSG probably just about nudged it ahead of us because um, um, Mbappe missed the good chance. Second half, shit. Absolutely terrible. That is the worst half we've had under Oli. It was like the Mourinho days again. And not because Oli wants to play like Mourinho, but because there was no pace in the front three. And Pogba and Herrera were looking up and going, damn, I'm passing it to Mata or Sanchez, whose first touch is going to, go to come backwards because they're slow. Um, I thought the second half was terrible. But what else could he have done? What else could he have done? All right. The one thing I would have done, I'd have put Lukaku on up front. I know he's bad, but at least he's... You know, he offers you something different. You could have put Rashford on the left and Sanchez on the right and maintained a little bit of pace. I thought the matter substitution was just a bad decision and, and hopefully he'll never do that again. Um, we've got to also... Uh, and, and, you know, Sanchez on the left. Sanchez on the left. I mean, how many times am I going to have to do this? I'm bored of it. Sanchez on the left wants to come into this area and he did. But that's where Pogba wants to go. So Pogba can't do it. Sanchez comes into here. That kills Pogba's game and Luke Shaw gets double teamed because he's got nobody to help him going forward or back. And uh, and yet we keep doing it. matter has got no pace at all. So Ashley Young gets double teamed and the left back pushes forward because they've got no fear of getting down the back. I'm bored of doing it. I've not passed my coaching badges, but I know it. You've not passed your coaching badges, but you know it. I'm bored of it. And I said it at half time and people were saying, oh, stop moaning. We've won 10 and drawn one. He's, this might work. And I said, it won't work because I've seen it so many times. Matt is not going to suddenly find the yards of paces he's lost. Sanchez is not going to suddenly get disciplined and hug, hug the touchline. He's going to screw us up. And he did. And it did happen. It's worrying that our coaching staff don't see that, but they need to start seeing it because you know what? Against Liverpool, if our front three is Rashford, Sanchez and Mata, we're screwed. We may, I'd, I'd prefer to play Chong. I would. I seriously would play Chong because and, and anybody else because what what do you do with Sanchez now? What do you, seriously what do you do with Sanchez now? He is shit. He is absolutely terrible. And I am fed up of saying this as well. He's the best paid player in the Premier League. He should be doing for us what Salah does for Liverpool. He should be doing for us what Son does for Spurs, what Aguero does for Man City. He should be a consistent match winner on that amount of money. And he's a he's a consistent game killer on that money. I know, I know he doesn't do it on purpose, but he's terrible, consistently terrible, and and it, and it's a massive worry. I, the, the one thing that's in my head is, and I don't, I'm not bothered about rival fans laughing about us and that. The one thing that worries me now is that yeah, we got found out second half. We were poor. We were really poor in the second half, and and it is a wake up call. And you know, I, I, I'm, I'm I, that's fine. But what worries me is the injuries to Lingard and Martial. They are crucial to us. Um, they are crucial to us. And whether they're good enough to make us beat PSG, look, I, w I just want to say that right now. 
we're not good enough to win the league and we're not good enough to win the Champions League. No matter what Oli does, he ain't gonna. he's not a magician. He ain't going to pull a title out of the hat. That, that squad, even with Martial and Lingard in it, our best 11 was the team that he started today. That still needs 200 million on it. That still needs three or four players on it to compete with the people like PSG. Because like even without Neymar and Cavani, they were still as good as is today in the first half. We need investment against our best team. 100%, we need that. But the, the, the immediate future, we need Martial and Lingard if we want to get top four. We are in trouble. If Martial and Lingard are out for a month each, we're in trouble. We, we are going to drop points in the league, not just to maybe Liverpool, but we'll drop points to Palace because those players aren't good enough to go to Palace and get as a result. That's what's worrying me now. This season is about top four. I've said this so many times. The FA Cup's nice, but it doesn't get you in the Champions League. We're going out the Champions League now anyway. It's all about top four. And this is why I said in January we needed to invest because... The club only ever think about money and they're like, we're paying loads of money, we've got a big squad, but it's not good enough. It's not good enough. You know, Juan Mata's probably on over 100 grand a week. Sanchez is on 350 grand a week minimum. That's 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 nearly 500 grand a, a week. Half a million pounds a week on players that aren't good enough. If you kick them out of the team, you can spend that on somebody else. Um, and Steve Chow is right. You can't blame Oli for, for, for working with what he has. And I think, look, if you don't understand that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is going to make mistakes as Manchester United manager, then you should never utter the words, he should be Manchester United manager. He's going to make mistakes. He is going to make mistakes. He is a young manager who has only managed Cardiff and Mulder. And this job is massive for him. It's a massive step up and he will make mistakes. And he made a mistake today. At, at half time, he made a mistake in bringing Juan Mata on and putting Sanchez on the left. It was a mistake. And he will make mistakes. And I still want him to be our manager. But today, for me, was more about... He's been let down. He's been let down because beyond his best 11, they're not good enough. You can't rely on Lukaku. You can't rely on Sanchez. You can't rely on Mata anymore. You can't rely on McTominay or Fred. You can't rely on Pereira. You can't rely on on the backup players that United have got. And that's the problem we're going to have. As soon as we get injuries, we're going to be in trouble. And, that, and that's the problem. So I'm not ranting about Solskjaer. I'm not questioning Solskjaer as our manager. I still want him to be our manager. He did make a mistake in his substitution, bringing Mata and, San and putting Sanchez on the left. That's a mistake. But it's you still expect, and I'm going to do the player ratings in a minute, you still expect a better standard of a player on 350 grand a week. I, I can understand why Oli keeps giving Sanchez a chance because he's like, you are the best paid player in this squad. It may even be in his contract that he's got to do that. He might, You know what? That's a good point. It may well be in Alexis Sanchez's contract that he has got to play games. It wouldn't surprise me. They do exist and, and, and that could be the case. And, and, and Oli is right to expect better from Mata and Sanchez and Lukaku. And, and also, what else has he got? If Lingard and Martial are injured, what else has he got? I feel sorry for him. The Deadwood, the Deadwood situation is a problem. But as I said, my main concern now is top four. That's where it's all at. I will be reading your super chats out in a minute. Don't worry. Um, but I just want to just very quickly cover two things as well. Thanks everyone for watching as well. Please do drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. I'm still very much Ollie in. Uh, I'm very, very disappointed about tonight. But ultimately, I do think the Champions League was a bonus. Um, I, I, and it is about top four and I, and I, I have always said that um, I don't regret being confident about tonight I think in a way it's just a simple bubble burst isn't it you know, we, we, we've we been playing very very well we were very very confident we felt we could win and we didn't and that's sport that's high end sport this is high end sport PSG are one of the top five teams in the world whether they've got Neymar or Cavani they're, they've got, they're an example of what happens when you spend money as well which we don't do enough of. They're a very, very good team and this is the high end. And, you know, we lose a couple of players and we look shit. They lose a couple of players and they've still got a very, very, very good squad. So I'm not ranting or moaning. I accept that loss. It's not like we've been played off the park by Fulham or someone like that, which is what happened under Mourinho. It, yeah, it's, it's PSG at the end of the day. So I accept that. I want to talk about the referee because it would be remiss of me not to talk about the referee. And I want to say that the Pogba sending off was spot on. It was. I, I've got no qualms with it. Pogba got booked and he did two tackles after he was booked that were borderline on Alves, uh, Alves that he could have been sent off. Um, it was a sending off. I, I, I think it was a second yellow card. I'm not going to moan about it. I think Pogba is a bad tackler 
and he gives it everything. You can't knock him for that. But when he's on a yellow card, it's like the Arsenal game last season. I was worried. A lot of you were worried. So I'm not going to moan about that. What I am going to moan about is the referee. I thought the referee was shit, to be honest with you. And the Kim Bempe one really frustrated me. He should have been sent off in the second half. It was a, He was on a yellow card. He took Luke Shaw out and the ref bottled it. And then at the start of the second half, he, he, did, he fouled Rashford. And again, the ref bottled it. And then he goes and scores the goal. I'm not going to say the referee cost us that game because we were so bad in the second half. You live it, you, you're deluded if you think that the referee cost us that game. PSG won that game in the second half because we had no pace in the final third and they pressed us. I mean, at 2 0, they made De Gea made two great saves. It could have been 3 or 4 0. So we didn't lose the game because of the referee, but I, I admit the referee was shit. I think he was right sending Pogba off, but he should have sent Ken Bempe off at 0 0. And whether that would have gone our way, yeah, maybe it would have done. But. Yeah, the ref the ref wasn't great. I, I will say that. I want to do the player ratings in a minute, but there's a few super chats I need to read. Vishal Orian says, I was positive before today, but I always felt PSG would be better. Bobby Travi says, we've got no plan B. We've got no plan B because beyond our best 11, the players are shit. Uh, thanks for the contribution, CJ. Lockie MUFC 92. Deadwood FC should be called Edward Wood FC because he has assembled the biggest squad of overpaid letdown has ever seen. Arsenal wouldn't accept half of them. We need Chong, Gomez and Greenwood now. It's a great comment. It's a great comment. We've got a very expensive squad, but half of it's crap. Pogba was sent off as well, says Kent. Hurry. Offload Young immediately. He's an embarrassment, says Akshay Sood. I, you know what? We'll go to player ratings on Young in a minute. So, uh, two shell out clusters with a centre back, Marquinhos, and right back, Alves in midfield. This is where someone having someone like Carrick on the staff will cost us, as he'll keep pushing for people like Young and Jones, says Murano TV. This is something that keeps happening as well. Apparently, Carrick's got mates like Young and Jones that he that he wants in the team. I don't know. I can't comment on it. If it's true, it's a worry. Steve Chow, I've read yours. Junad Hussain, well, that was disappointing, but we get to see our weakness and hope Glazers will have some brain to understand that. The referee was a bit disappointing. You know what, Junad? If Mata gets a new contract, you can forget the Wood Woodward and Glazers seeing sense because you'll know they are signing players who aren't good enough anymore just to save money. Sharath Kamath Fitness says, we need two young, fast players and two experienced, good players in the team. We look nervous today. Thiago Silva is 34. Alves is 35. Look at how they played. I love youth, but sometimes you need to have the know-how too. United Heart, we need three top-class players to compete. Di Maria swearing at our fans is a disgrace, though. Overall, we didn't deserve to win, but it's still annoying. Uh, Palms Aquatics our midfield thanks for the contribution Resi Desi 11 says our midfield were outplayed that's where we lost in the second half our midfield got squashed because the front three didn't protect them that's what happened in the first half I thought our midfield combated their midfield it was a 50-50 battle Kaval Kakani loving these big games will be learning lessons for Oli who is still quite amateur for big game football I will still stick with Oli as United manager the French Arab club has bought the referee says Kevel. Um, Murano TV, as long as Carrick is part of our staff, people like Jones and Young will get preferential treatment and game time. Interesting, same again. Theo Knight, handstand, okay, so it wasn't on top of our game, but at, at this level, it's fine margins, and it all went wrong. But anyway, love United, and the referee was a joke. Mike Hill, ref was PSG's 12th man on top of Deadwood. I mean, the ref was shit, but we were shitter in the second half. I've got, I'm not going to dress it up. We got it wrong in the second half, badly. Sims, Edward Wood won't let, get, uh, let go of his dead word. Ryan Brown, Di Maria should be bottled in the head. Well, I don't condone any of that, to be honest, Ryan. Nick Lopez, the ref dictated the game. Early cards killed our squad from the start. Uh, what about Kim Beppe, says the Mertz. Sanchez is stealing a wage, says Armand. Look, the ref was bad, but we were, you know, we were architects of our own downfall as well. Um, they were a better team than us in the second half, and it could have been it could have been four nil, and you know it could have been four nil. De Gea made two great saves, which brings me on to the player ratings. Let's do those for you now. So, player ratings, quite simply, is going to be very very interesting. Um, I'm I, I, I want to I'm going to give my man of the match. Well, I am going to give my man of the match straight to the way because my man of the match has to be David De Gea. The, the, there was nobody else. Uh, there were some people who had very good first halves. And disappeared in the second half. And I thought De Gea... I mean, he even made a save against Di Maria that Di Maria didn't know was offside in a one-on-one -on -one situation. So my man of the match is uh, is the first score, which is going to be uh, a terrible eight. Um, it's going to be David De Gea, who gets an eight from me. Um, Ashley Young, leaving for five. You know what? A lot of people will pick on Ashley Young. And yeah, he's not very good. He's not very good. Ashley Young is not very good, by the way. But... 
in the second half, he got exposed because this man is not quick enough to track back. Um, you know, Ashley Young is not a very good fullback, but when he's exposed 2v1 like he was, he's going to be an even worse fullback. But it, it wasn't good, but it wasn't terrible. The Butcher 151, well, Welbeck is better than Sanchez. Sanchez was awful. Well, we'll come to him. Eric Bailly, I've got to give him a six. He wasn't good, but neither was Lindelof either. Um, but I don't think they were terrible. And again, I think they were uh, let down by players in front of them. So I'd give them an average six. I'd love to give Luke Shaw a seven, you know. I mean, Luke Shaw, I thought first half was very, very steady. I thought second half, again, Sanchez was tucking in. So he was getting exploited like um, like Mata was. Um, but he kept going. He, you know, he threw a few tackles in. He took a yellow card in by taking Danny Alves out. I can't give him a seven, but I would give him a six. Um, Matic for me would have got a seven or maybe even an eight, but in the second half he was at fault for the first goal and he faded as he got pressed. Uh, Herrera a seven, he was up an, an eight for me in the first half, but again he got pressed by PSG and, and, he, and he became less relevant. Pogba, it's got to be a six. It wasn't his best game and he got sent off. Um, yeah, it's got to be a six. I mean, Martial and Lingard, you can't really mark them. You can't really mark them. I have to give them a six if I had to give anything. You can have a two. I think you're you're indisciplined, you're overpaid, and you ruin our team. I can only give you a two. Matter, just because I like you, I'm going to give you a four, even though some people might give him a three. I mean, offered nothing in that game. Defensively exposed young, got no pace anymore, um, and he's not a right midfielder. Just offered nothing. So And actually allowed PSG to move 20 yards up the pitch with Sanchez. So, yeah, not great. And, and Rashford, I'm going to give him a generous six. He had a terrible game, but he kept running and he was exposed because he didn't have the didn't have the backup, didn't have the support. So, yeah, it's a disappointing result. Um, we don't play again now till till Monday, um, and I don't think we'll pick a strong team against Chelsea. The, the 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 big thing we're all waiting for now is how long are the people out injured for? That's what we're waiting for because if Lingard's out for a month and Martial's out for a month. Not only are we going to miss them against Liverpool, and I don't think we can beat Liverpool without Martial and Lingard, by the way. I don't see how you can do it because you can't do it with Mata and Sanchez. They're shit. Um, so that's my next concern. And not only that, is we've got Arsenal at the start of March. Tell you what, Arsenal and Chelsea fans will be like that tonight. They'll enjoy the fact that we've lost, but they'll more enjoy the fact that we've lost two players injured. Um, and they'll more enjoy the fact that we might have to play Mata and Sanchez against them. So... Um, for me, if Martial, just very, very quickly, if Martial and Sanchez, uh, sorry, if Martial and Lingard are out for a month, he's going to have to put Lukaku up front and he's going to have to put Rashford on the left um, because I'm not, we cannot put Sanchez on the left. It will destroy Pogba. Um, he's going to have to put Rashford on the left if, if Martial's injured for a long time. He cannot put Sanchez there. By all means, let's see Sanchez on the right, but that doesn't seem to be allowed, but he cannot put Sanchez on the left. Our season's over if he does that. And I know that sounds dramatic, but it, I think it is. Um, anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Um, it is a reality bite. Please do drop a like on the video. Um, I refuse to be Ollie out. I think he made a mistake with the substitutions. Um, we do need a director of football ASAP, Curfew Jones. But for me, it's the Deadwood. It's the Deadwood that's the problem. It's the Matters. It's the Sanchez. It, it, they're just not good enough. If we get injured, and you know what? If, Mar if Pogba and Herrera had got injured and you had to bring Fred and McTominay on, I think we'd still be having the same conversation. It's not just about Sanchez and Mata. It's that we've got nobody good enough beyond Matic, Herrera and Pogba, and we've got nobody good enough beyond Rashford, Lingard and Martial. And when they, any of those six players get injured, we're in trouble. We're really in trouble. So, And I said that, I, th I think a proper club with proper ambitions would have invested in January because that man, Oli, from Mission Impossible took us from a team that was never getting top four to a team that has a chance of top four and now it's going to fall apart potentially because they didn't give him any money in January and I think that's a disgrace. Thanks for watching. Speak to you in the morning. You've got fan cams coming in. In fact, I've got a fan cam right now that I'm about to put in. So watch the fan cams and um, I shall see you tomorrow. But get on the fan cams. I'll speak to you soon.